Fatherhood Academy at Hostos Community College is a comprehensive program designed to promote responsible parenting and economic stability for unemployed and underemployed young fathers through education, employment, and personal development. Here to tell us more is case manager Anthony Bowles and program director Daryl Rogers. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you so much for joining us today. Good morning. So this sounds like a wonderful program. You know, there's so many young men that need help out there, especially, and what happens is that a lot of times we see programs for mothers, but not a lot of programs for fathers. So tell me, what, was, what did you have to go through to get this grant? Well, the grant was given to us by the mayor's office from the, the, the Young Men's Initiative Program. Um, Bloomberg started it, and then um, Mayor de Blasio decided to continue with um, the need to work with young fathers uh, between the ages of 18 to 24 who desire to get their high school equivalent diploma to really make an economic impact and difference in the lives of their families. And so it means that they will have an opportunity to A, get a better job, mm -hmm. and then from there, hopefully, go into Hostos Community College to pursue their associate's degree. I think it's wonderful that it's tied in with the college so that they have an option, like you said, to pursue further education. Now, Anthony, you're working directly with the fathers. Yes. What's been the response so far? It has been overwhelming. You know, you see a lot of these young men, and I'm, you know, resemble their age, and they realize that it's no longer about them. They have a responsibility to their family, to their young child, and to, you know, to themselves, to better themselves so that way they can be able to provide for the future of their family. Mm -hmm. And I know that you're offering many programs. Um, there's preparation for those who haven't been able to get a high school diploma, right? The Career and Educational Exploration Program. Talk, tell me more about um, the, pro the progress and the process that they have to go through if accepted into the program? Well, um, there's a three week, we call it boot camp, mm -hmm. but I call it getting to know one another. Mm -hmm. So it's three weeks in which the young fathers work very closely with Anthony mm -hmm. and the HSC instructors, the high school Quincy instructors. Um, around certain key areas is it's a contextualized learning curriculum. So it's all about around fatherhood, around, around about nutrition and those things with the goal of getting them to pass the tasks, which is the test assessing secondary completion exam. That's in the morning. Mm -hmm. And then in the afternoon, we're having parenting classes. So that's where Anthony comes in as a case mm -hmm. manager to work very closely with the young fathers in doing um, parenting classes as well as a, a men support group. So we want the fathers to feel like at home, this is a program just for them. At the same time, the end product is getting their high school equivalent diploma that will lead to a better job and eventually, if they desire, to pursue a, you know, a career in college. And are there grants that are open to them? That, um, are they given financial assistance to go to school? Did the grant that you received, did that cover it? Yes, well, our program is 100% free. And the great thing about CUNY, City University of New York, is that there are so many grant options for young students. And, okay. they, will get, they will get, okay, a weekly, month, a weekly Metro card mm -hmm. and a monthly stipend. It's a modest stipend, but we don't want them to feel that they have to struggle because some of our fathers are not working mm -hmm. or working a part-time job, so they will receive a monthly stipend as well as a, um, a daily Metro card to get. I I just want to go back real quick. I know we had, we just finished talking about the State of the Union with uh, Michael and JC. You guys were in the studio and you heard it. What, what do you think about the president's wish to make sure that um, students are given two years of college for free? Because that would also benefit your program. I wish I had that opportunity. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> I think that will be an amazing opportunity because, you know, a, a lot of people are dis disenfranchised when they're come to the realization that they're unable to afford college and to, and then they get roadblock and are unable to pursue education and that's such an unfortunate scenario. And many of our young people don't do well in their SATs mm -hmm. and an opportunity to get an associate's degree also put them into the, you know, the playing field as well. Mm -hmm. Getting their associate's degree then transfer to, you know, another CUNY school like Lehman for example. Right. So many of our students, you know, go to Hostos Community College and then transfer to Lehman. So it's a great opportunity for our students to, to get an education, again, to make a better living for themselves and their families. 
Has it been hard recruiting the young men for this program, or do you feel that there's just a rush of applications that are coming to you? What's been your experience so far? It's a challenge, I be, simply because I believe is that we need to do better in getting our message out to the community. Mm -hmm. I think once I'm with the help of Open Wednesday, with your help and the help of others, you know, word of mouth, we will have young fathers knocking at our door. Anthony, like you said, um, they, they're around your age, so mm -hmm. you, you kind of know what they're going through, what they're feeling. Absolutely. Do you feel like sometimes they're saying, you know what, no, I don't need anyone's help, I got it, you know, this is they not are, for me. They are looking for help. You know, a lot of them often didn't have a father in their own home, mm -hmm. so to see somebody as a mentor or a role model, you know, I'm happy to play that part and I'm happy to communicate with them and to really give them advice and guidance of how, you know, the role that I took and hopefully encourage them to take a similar path. And um, where is, I know um, you have to, of course, be between the ages of 18 and 24, yes. but what are um, other ways for these young men to get involved with the, uh, with the program? Well, um, definitely we have um, a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Definitely can go look at our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. um, if they're also interested in, in um, if they don't live in the Bronx or South Bronx, if they happen to live in the Brooklyn area, mm -hmm. there's the Kingsborough Community College. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're all in all five boroughs? Three. In three, three boroughs, which right. boroughs are you in right now? LaGuardia Community College okay. has started there. They okay. were the pioneers, and as a result of their success, we benefit from that, Hostos Community College, mm -hmm. and as well as Kingsborough Community College in Brooklyn. And Brooklyn. Excellent, excellent. Um, and this is an ongoing process, correct? Uh, the application process is ongoing? No, the first cohort starts January 29th. Oh, so, so they have to get started. Need, okay. Yes, so we are actively recruiting for these young fathers. Okay. And um, tell us, uh, you're on Facebook. Um, where can they reach you directly if they're if they're interested. If they want to call me, 718-664-2608, I'm happy. And also like our Facebook page, Hostos Community College, CUNY Fatherhood Academy. And what about, is there a contact information for you or they just go straight to Anthony? Go straight to Anthony. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, guys. Thank this you. is a wonderful program. As I said earlier, we don't see a lot of pro programs for fathers, for young men. So I'm just so happy that, you know, this was created and that it's been a success in mm -hmm. um, LaGuardia. And I'm sure it's going to be a success here at Hostess Community College as well in the Bronx. We are Thank hoping. you so much, Thank guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank yes. You. We have to take a quick break, but when we return, we'll find out what highly addictive carbohydrates you should moderate in your daily diet. Stay tuned.